All right, we've got the line parameter here. We've set that up so we have a series of types. Now what I want to do is I want to host a few points on this line, and then I'm going to host a rectangle to that point that's going to be the profile for the beginning of the blend. So <clears throat> first order of operation is to host a point on this line. So if I pick a point up here, point element, I can come into either of the views, whichever one's active, and host a point on that line. So if I come over here, you can see it hosting on this guy. And notice that it's large here and it gets small. That means it's actually going to host on that line, right? If, if, and that one thing that's important to note is that draw on face means that this thing is seeking out geometry to host on. If I were to set it to draw on work plane, you'll notice that it will snap, but it won't get small. And that means it's not actually hosting to the line. So when you're doing a point that you need to be hosted, it needs to be to set to draw on face and it will get small. And I'll just, I'm going to host one, two, three points on that line. And then I'll hit escape twice to stop the point command. Then I'm going to pick the point and it gives us a little plane where that point is. And you should not be able to move that guy off of the line so you can see that it's hosted. I also want you to take note of when I pick the point, what's in the properties dialog box over here. These are sort of baked in parameters that come with the point. So some of them are rotation angle, flipping and mirroring. You also have a normalized curve distance. So it normalizes this curve to one, so the line to one, and you see where it's located on there. So always good to sort of note what you have access to based on Revit giving you those sort of baked in parameters. All right, so now um, what we're gonna do is draw the first rectangle on this bottom um, using this bottom point as a host. So just to remind you, we have a plane that the line is hosted to, and then we have a point that's hosted to the line. So it's sort of a parental hierarchy here that we're working with. All right, so I'm going to go to reference and rectangle here. And then what I want to do is I want to set this reference point current. So I'm going to go to set and pick that point. And you'll see that it will sort of outline that as the current plane. You can also see reference point up here is current. And so I'm just going to left click off on the side here on nothing and then kind of left click over here. And then I'll stop that command by going to the modify. And then if I pick this point, right, that rectangle should move with that point. So it's now hosted. Now I want to be able to control the length and width of this, and so I need to put dimensions on it in order to do what we did with the line, which is to host, to um, parameterize it. So this um, one, we can't necessarily go in and pick it and it'll give us those listening dimensions. So what we're going to do is go to the create and aligned dimension. And the first thing I'm going to do is pick one end the point, make sure the point is highlighting, and then the other end, pull it out and left click in white space, and it will give you this little EQ. And if you click it, it'll equal that out between that point, which means when we increase the distance, it will increase from the center. So now if I pick this guy and this guy, I get a dimension, and then I want to do the same thing for the other side. Equal that out, and then dimension, dimension. Okay, so now I'm going to do what I did with this and parameterize these. You can use whatever um, parameter names you want. I suggest you keep them short and consistent. So I tend to use um, length or width and depth. So I'm going to pick this one, and again, go to new parameter, create parameter, and I'm going to call this W1. Click OK. Then I'm going to pick this guy, go to New, and I'll call this one D1. And then I'm just going to go through and do the same thing for each one of these other points. So reference, rectangle, set this guy, draw a rectangle, create, align dimension, one, two, three equal one two three equal and then 
overall, overall, and then I'll just go reference rectangle set, that guy, draw another rectangle, and then create a line dimension, one, two, three, equal, and pull that out, one, two, three, equal, and pull that out. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, parameterize these. So um, you'll just be picking them, right, and going through, and this would be W2 and L2 and L3. And this would be W3. I think that's got all of them. All right, when we come back, we'll um, set the parameters and do the blend.